Getting time for race number two from Red Sewers in Charlottetown tonight as the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the race call. Redland Sampson, Tobago Paradise, Windermere Kirk, Midnight McNeil, nothing but a good time, Heather's Pet, top of the stretch. Approaching a start. Rough and pacing Tobago Paradise, Redland Sampson at the rail, Midnight McNeil between horses, Windermere Kirk. Then the fifth one to the turn, that is Heather's pet, and the trailer, nothing but a good time. At the eighth pole, it's Redland Sampson for Kenny Murphy with the lead. Second is Tobago Paradise, Midnight McNeil on the outside and on the move third. Racing from fourth is Windermere Kirk, Heather's pet's fifth. The gapped out trailer, nothing but a good time as they arrive at the opening quarter. Redland Sampson the leader. Midnight McNeil still second, but now finds a spot to drop in. Racing from third, that's Tobago Paradise, 29, and won the quarter. Windermere Kirk has fourth, and in fifth, it's Heather's Pet trailing the field. Nothing but a good time, and down the stretch they come, arriving next at the opening half mile. It's Redland, Sampson the leader at the midway point. Midnight McNeil goes second, third is Tobago Paradise. There goes Heather's Pet. Underway in the outside fourth. Racing from fifth is Windermere Kirk. Trailing the field. Nothing but a good time. 58 and three for a half a mile. Moving around the paddock turn for the second time. At the five eighths they go. Led by Redland. Sampson, a two-length advantage on Midnight McNeil. Heather's Pattis taken over third on the outside. Up the rail, fourth, Tobago Paradise. Then in fifth, it's Windermere Kirk. And the trailer, nothing but a good time. Three quarters in the books, and Redland. Sampson has not seen a challenger. Midnight McNeil continues second. Third is Heather's Pet. Fourth, Tobago Paradise. Three quarters up in one. 28 and four, and they turn for home. Redland. And Sampson trying to take it all the way. Midnight McNeil second up the inside Tobago Paradise. But this is a Kenny Murphy daily double. Redland Sampson goes all the way. Might have been Tobago Paradise second with Midnight McNeil. There will be a place picture. One, 58, four. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number two from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. Uh, brought to you by Universal Media. We talked about it in the pre-race. It could be an early Kenny Murphy daily double, and that's exactly what it was as he bossed it right from the hop here tonight with Redland Sampson, 29-1. and one. He had him over there, and he was the early leader past that opening split. They raced the half 58-3. and three. It was still Redland Sampson. Midnight McNeil, it came hard off the wings, but sat two. They raced the backside, 128-4. and four. Still Kenny, and really not much pressure. And down the lane they come here now. He's sitting chilly in the bike. Is Kenny Murphy as uh, Redland Sampson, as we said, bossed it at every call, 150. 58 and 4. They hit the wire first here tonight in race number 2 at Red Shores in Charlottetown. Gate to wire score for Redland Sampson. Looks like Tobago Paradise maybe gets second. We'll see it right here. Tight finish on the wire. Close there. Tobago Paradise and Midnight McNeil. No doubt about the winner. Redland Sampson in race number 2.
Into the second race winner circle, number one, Redland Sampson. Bay Pacing Gelding two by Archpeak off the Umbro McIntosh Dam. Lady Sometimes, owned by Roderick Gillis, Donnie Smith, Paul Hogan, and Troy Cudmore. Trained by Cliff Murphy, and that's a Kenny Murphy. Daily Double, and the Colt has a maiden record of 158 and four. Redland Sampson in the second. <laughs>